and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing swatches and a little mini tutorial as well as review on the new Nicole Concilio and Violet Boss eyeshadow palette. This came out about a week ago and I was so excited to get my hands on it. I just got it in the mail yesterday and I could not wait to film this video for you all. So if you're interested in seeing some swatches as well as hear a little first impression and see how these apply to the eye, then keep on watching. So here is what the outside of the palette looks like. When you open it up, there is a little sheet protector on it that says Violet Voss X Nicole Concilio. And here is the inside of the palette. So later on in the video, I am going to do swatches. Right now, I just want to play around with the colors and see how they perform on the eye. We're going to do something very, very simple. I'm going to start by going into my crease with the color Hangry. That's Hangry right there. I'm just going to dip into it. This is more of like a transition shade. This is like the perfect transition shade for my skin tone. I think it's a really pretty color. It has a nice color payoff for a transition shade. I'm just blending that in. And then I'm going to go in with Pizza, which is like an orange color. And we're just going to take that and blend that just a tiny bit lower than the transition shade. That's what that looks like on the eye so far. We're going to go in with Mars, which is the brighter orange color here. And we're just gonna use that to add a little more dimension into the crease and put that right into the crease area. That is a beautiful color. Very, very orange. And it actually does show up on my skin tone. Then for the lid, we're just going to use a Nicole. Since this is the Nicole Concilio palette, I did want to use that shade today. I'm going to go in with this flat shader brush. And I am going to spray my brush, but first I want to apply this dry so that you can see what it looks like without spraying your brush. That's pretty, 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 pretty. So it does apply nicely without spraying your brush. I do think this brush might be a little bit too soft to show how this, how this shadow really works. But we're going to do the other eye um, and we're going to spritz the brush just to see if that has a better effect. And I'm just going to use Fix Plus to do so. Now you can kind of see, wow. Look at how much better that looks so far. That's sprayed and this is unsprayed. That made like a world of difference. I think that spraying these shimmer shadows makes a huge difference and I would suggest that if you are going to use the shimmer shadows to spray your brush just because, I mean, look at the difference. It's like blah and wow. There's not a lot of fallout, but there is some fallout going to go in a, with a little bit more Mars and blend out those harsh edges. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back, do swatches, finish my bottom lash line and give you final thoughts on this palette. For the bottom lash line, I just wanted to add a pop of color. So I'm going to go in with this color Pingy, which is that bright blue color. I already started it on this lash line, and I feel like it didn't perform as well dry. So I am going to apply it wet. Thank you. 
and that is a lot better can you guys see I'm gonna bring you in so you can see the difference between the wet and the dry so here it is wet and on this eye it is dry for the inner corner I'm gonna keep up with this orangey warm theme and I'm going to use the color glorious which is like this peachy pink color here since I've learned already that these shadows apply better wet I am going to spritz the brush to do so Ooh, that is pretty I don't know if you can see that but that is pretty I really like that color and then for the brow bone we're just gonna go in with this matte color Daisy to brighten it up a little bit and to tie everything in I finish off by applying some mascara for lips we're gonna go in with color pop Monday I did get this in my birch box. If you're interested in seeing what I got in my birch box, please leave a comment down below and I can do a review as well as a, I guess, unboxing of my birch box. And since this color is very, very light for my skin tone, I am going to line my lips with the MAC Cork Lip Liner. I think they have a new applicator because the Applicators did not look like this before. And lastly, I'm just going to spray my face with some Fix Plus. Not really to set everything because it doesn't necessarily set set everything, but just to bring some more back to my face. I can bathe in this stuff. So here is the finished look. Now, let's get into the swatches. There are the first two rows of colors. We have NYC, Zozo, Bra, Pizza, which I had to build up some. Mars, they're very similar in color, but Mars is a little more, I guess, neon than Pizza and a little bit more orange. Daisy, Hangry, Blau, Hey Girl, and Chocolate. As you can see, the second two rows are the fun colors. These colors are a lot better pigmented than the top two rows, but all of the palette really is beautiful. I just think that this second two rows are a lot better pigmented. They're a lot more fun. There's a lot more going on, and it's just overall very, very, very beautiful. We have Glorious, Nicole, Sagittarius, Gigi, Palm Trees, LA, Victoria, Pingy, and what is that? <laughs> Retrograde. Okay, so I honestly think that if you guys are interested in the shades that come in this palette that you should go out and pick it up. I do really love this palette and as you saw from the swatches it is very pigmented, very buttery. I only had to go into majority of them one time to make the color show up on my skin tone. There only was one which I think was pizza that I did have to build up but as you saw on my eyes today it didn't take a lot of building up to do on the eye and that is what counts. It's what's on your eye and not necessarily as watching your arm. I do think though that for the shimmery shades in this palette that you definitely should uh, that you definitely should wet them before using them because that worked a lot better for me. There was fallout in the palette but that's to be expected in something that is so buttery, so blendable and so easy to work with. I honestly love this palette. It's my first time using Violet Boss, so I don't know if all of their palettes are like this. However, if they are, I definitely should go check more of them out because this, it was amazing. Like, it's my favorite palette that I've bought so far over the past three months. I like this more than, I'm not going to name, but there may be a review 
on one of the one or two of those palettes on my channel in the past couple months and I actually like this better than another youtubers palette that recently came out I'm not gonna say a name again but you guys probably know which palette I'm talking about because I do own that one too if you want to see a review on another youtubers palette let me know down in the comments below and I will do that review as well however as far as the Violet Voss and Nicole Concilio palette, this is like a huge thumbs up. I might even buy a second one for when this runs out since this item is limited edition. It is $45, which is kind of a high price, but you do get this very pretty Mara in the palette. And there are, like I said, a lot of amazing shades in here, especially these bottom two rows in the palette. These two rows, I think, make it worth the price. The top two rows are nice as well. However, I feel like you may have a lot of these shades in that top two row. Aside from Zozo, I feel like you may already own a bunch of these shades if you are a big makeup collector or if you are a makeup artist. You probably own things that are similar to items on the top two rows. But the bottom two rows, like I said, are the more fun rows. They have a lot more going on and they're very pretty. I do like the duochrome-ness of them and I do like the like, I guess, metallic look of some of the other other shadows or the foiled look of them. They're beautiful shadows. Very buttery. Um, I think the jojoba oil had something to do with that. It's a good palette. A plus. Approved. Get your hands on it if you can. Love this palette. Like, it's that good. That is all I have for you on this review first impression swatches video. As always, please go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you've seen. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. And hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so, so you're notified every single time I upload. Thank you again for stopping by and watching this video, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!